Hey friends, welcome. It is Essentially Jessie. Today we are talking about a single fragrance review by Giorgio Armani. I am going to share with you guys my thoughts, my feelings, do I love it, do I hate it, am I in between, on Terra de Gioia by Giorgio Armani. This is a stunning fragrance. It has stunning packaging. I'm looking around. I have the original Aqua de Gioia um, and it was the first one of its kind to come out. This is, I guess, technically a flanker. Do they smell anything like? No. So if you have Aqua de Gioia and you're like, no, oh, I'll get this because it might. No, no. Um, so good. Okay. Let's talk about it really quick. This just came out. It came out in 2021. It has three perfumers on it. Um, and I knew exactly who they were and then I forgot. Uh, Fabrice Pellegrin, Lorsen, and Blanc. Okay, it came out in 2021. It is a floral fragrance, but not a sweet, sweet, sweet floral. Not to me anyways. I'm trying to find somewhere I haven't sprayed something already. Okay, so, so it is sweet. Um, it has pear in it, which I really like. It's got almond, let me see. Okay, so it's got, the top is pear, uh, mandarin orange blossom and bergamot. My phone's talking to me. Oh, it looked up pear on Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, um, middle notes are almond blossom, jasmine, which I love jasmine. Um, and then the base is amberwood and musk. So while this was a 2021 launch, I feel like this is unique, very unique. And I feel like the almond, what did it say? It was the almond, it's almond blossom. I feel like this is an almond blossom bomb. Like this is very almondy. If you love almond fragrances, please just pick this up. Just blind by it. I mean, I get some of the pear I get, but I mean, I don't even hardly get the top notes. It's the pear, the mandarin orange and the bergamot. It goes straight to, or bergamot, it goes straight to that almond blossom and it is almond blossom. The projection on this is good. It's not great, like it's not stellar and it's not terrible, it's good. And the longevity on this is also good. It's not crazy. Like my Aqua de Joya, if I put that on, if I spray more than two or three sprays, I'm blowing everyone away for at least six to eight hours. <laughs> it is so stout, but I have the original formulation of that as well. Um, this is the original formulation and I, I love the caps. I love the Armani look, like the Rouge Malachite and the Verit Malachite. Now that's their more upper echelon of fragrances, um, but they still, the styling is still the same and it's just beautiful. It's unique, it's different. The caps all look like stones of some sort. Uh, they very accurately match up with the juice inside. Here, I'll show you guys the bottle. So this is Terra de Gioia by Giorgio Armani. It is beautiful. I love the color of the juice. It's kind of this golden color. And then the cap is also so pretty. I also love the silhouette of the glass on this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So as it dries down, guess what? More almond. <laughs> it's just a very almondy fragrance. Almond is not typically my like all-star favorite fragrance note of all time. Um, at some point I may pass this along to my sister or my mom for them to try out. But if you love almond, this is an almond bomb. Uh, it is, I don't know. It's a beautiful fragrance and I do really like it. It's just not my favorite. Now, pair this with like Kaoli Eden with the Juicy Apple. Woo! Like you can make some great combos out of this fragrance. You could also pair it with any kind of vanilla fragrance just to really amp up some of the more gar gourmandness that it already has because it's got the almond blossom and I feel like it's got some almond, like the nut, the almond, like it smells a little bit nutty, but I definitely smell the almond blossom specifically. Sometimes I'll put something in there and I'm like, that they got way too specific and that's not even really what you smell. You just smell almond. This, it's the almond blossom. It is beautiful. So while I am loving this fragrance, it is not my 
speed per se, but it is a gorgeous fragrance. I can see wearing this. I always try to tell you guys on these um, single fragrance reviews, like where I would wear this. I would totally wear this to office. I would totally wear this on a date. I would wear this shopping. I would wear, there aren't a whole lot of, like I wouldn't, I'm, Sorry. could you say that again? My apologies. Oh my. Siri is really wanting to talk to me today. Um, I wouldn't say that this is like my wedding day fragrance. Now, if you are all about some almond blossom, it might be your wedding day fragrance, but this is not, for me, this is not special occasion worthy. Um, this is not, it's almost so almondy that it could be unisex. Like while it is the almond blossom, it isn't super floral. It isn't super sweet. Um, which is what I find so interesting because when I was on Fragrantica kind of looking it up, it, the top, the main accords are floral, then sweet, then amber, then white floral, then woody, musky, citrus, fruit, almond, powdery. And I think it should be almond, almond, and more almond. Like I can see almond and floral because it is the almond flower. I keep going back to smell to like make sure that I am really wearing out my watch here. Okay. Um, but I love this fragrance. Is it my top 10 of all time? No. Is it a good fragrance? Yes. Is the longevity good? Yes. So if you happen to not like pear, don't steer away from this fragrance because I get zero pear. Maybe a touch in the opening, but really I don't get that much. Um, it has been, um, I was wondering what it has been compared to, uh, and there's really nothing here that's of value. It is a really unique fragrance. I almost think that like when Chloe came out with Nomad, it was in, it was so different than Chloe that we knew with the honeysuckle and the sweet and the floral. And Nomad just took us in such a different direction. And I have the original Nomad. I'm also not a fan of that. Just saying. Um, I feel like this is going in a completely, like Aqua de Joya is aquatic. It's beautiful. Um, it's sweeter. This is not gonna be so sweet, but it is more of that subtle floral because of the almond blossom. So anyway, that is my full fragrance review on Terra de Joya. If there are any other fragrances, someone had asked me to do a full fragrance review on this because I had put it in maybe a haul video that I did. I can't remember if I was unboxing it. Maybe I was unboxing it. Anyway, but I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion, my honest review of what I really enjoy about the fragrance and what I'm know about the fragrance um so if there are any other single fragrance reviews that you guys want me to do or any battles that you particularly you're like okay i'm thinking about getting this or that which one should i get and why or what are the differences do you like them both do you hate them both whatever um drop that in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching I have more than 260, maybe more than 270 by the time this launches. Videos on fragrance related content, drop me um, a comment anytime you want to ask me to make specific videos. Do you guys like top tens better, top fives? Uh, who's here for the men's fragrances? All those things. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Smell you later.